Hi, Kim Morris with you from Entrepreneur Systems and in this short video I'm just going to walk you through how to create a simple flowchart using the eDraw mind mapping software. Even though it is mind mapping software, it actually does do flowcharts as well. So when you first load it up, this is the screen that you'll be seeing and to get the flowchart symbols up, you just click on basic diagram and over here to highlight shapes and that will bring up your screen for all of your temp, uh, flow charting shapes so you can get started uh, creating your flow chart. Now the one I'm going to show you today is a simple process for ordering. So it's how to order um, and what to do with orders that you receive by email. So it's a fairly simple process and it's got one decision step in it so you'll get to see how that's handled as well. So before you start, just make sure that you're fairly close to the top of the page, closing out that extra window pane. So the shapes that we're going to be using are the terminator, which is your start and end shape. Every time you start um, the process, it will be represented by that shape. And when the process has ended, it'll finish with that shape as well. So the green process indicates a step and the the diamond here represents a decision. So they're the three shapes that we're going to be using as well as the connectors here. We'll be using a straight line connector and a right angle connector. So to get started, we just simply drag and drop, just making sure that you're nice and close to the top of the page. And in there, we just type start and next, the first step in the process, double click to type into the, to the box. We're going to receive order via email. The second step is to copy and paste the email data into the database. making sure that those boxes stay aligned. And next comes a decision. After we've entered the details into the database, we need to determine whether or not shipping is involved. And typing that in like that. And in regards to the shipping and the decision questions, it'll either be a yes or a no. So you'll have um, options for yes and options for no. So we're going to drag over here the steps that relate to yes. So if shipping is involved, we will need to print the invoice and address label, followed by sending an email to confirm shipping. And next, assemble the package and ship it. So before we work out the no options, we'll just go back and connect what we've done so far, just connecting the start to the different steps. Now, if you notice that some of the boxes and the shapes aren't lining up, just click back to your select and you can just move the shapes up and down and the grid will automatically align those where they need to be. There we go. So, And for the yes options, you can just double click on that yes arrow and just actually type in yes. So if they're not having shipping, there needs to be some options for that. And if it's not being shipped, then the customers coming to collect. Call customer to arrange collection. 
and that is the end of the process and so we'll just finish things off here so that gets a no to shipping adding that in and because this one here is the end we want to make sure that that links back in that everything lines up okay now one thing that we have left to do is we need to add in some arrowheads to indicate the flow of the steps so we just click on on one of the um, the lines there and you'll see that you get a shape format option come up there so you just need to click on the arrow um, option there and that will add the arrowheads on there for you just a matter of doing one of those at a time Oops. to here, clicking on the yes, making sure you've got all those arrowheads in place so that there's no question about the flow of how things are working through and assemble and package and ship points back to the end of the process. So there you have it. That's how you create a flow chart. And we just click on here to save. And we're going to save to desktop. Ordering process so that at any time you can come back and edit that if you need to. And your options up here are also to you can export it as any of those different options or you can print. So there you have it. That's how you create a simple flowchart using EDDraw mind mapping and flowcharting software.